Saturday, January the 28th marks 35 years since the Supreme Court of Canada handed down a decision that has impacted and continues to impact the lives of millions of Canadians. In the 1988 R.V. Morgenthaler decision, our country's top court threw out the previous 1969 abortion law put in place by your father, Pierre Elliott Trudeau, deeming it unconstitutional, quote unquote. The majority opinion was that the procedural requirements for an abort abortion violated a woman's charter right to, quote, security of the person, end quote, though two of the seven justices dissented. The court established no right to abortion, a point acknowledged not only by legal professionals, but mainstream media. Last year, the CBC ran a report about the Morgenthaler decision titled, Why Canada's Roe v. Wade Didn't Enshrine Abortion as a Right. The ruling, which was rife with faults, effectively removing or removed every obstacle barring pregnant mothers from obtaining an abortion. This allowed mothers to kill their pre-born children at any stage during the pregnancy for any reason at all. And sadly, millions of Canadian mothers have chosen to destroy the new human lives growing and developing inside of them. Pause for a moment to consider that over 3 million precious children, boys and girls, have been eliminated by abortion since this decision. The destruction of every one of these children is a tragic loss for their families, their communities, the whole country. Each one was beautifully and wonderfully made by God. Each came into existence to love and needing to be loved. Each had unique talents and gifts to share with others. Each had the power this to is, dream, uh, how it happened over here. to create, to change the world. As a full member of the human family, in Ottawa, each had at the Supreme Court of Canada dignity, on the anniversary of the Morgan Thaler decision, including the right which to uh, remo removed completely, totally, abortion all the laws cut their lives short, in Canada against all they had abortion, to was killing, all they had to laws against killing unborn children. Future, Seven million have died since 1968. They were never given the They'd chance. They'd be all to over 50. Well, half of them would be over 50. To become a scientist, doctor, or a I mean, musician, they have children. Help build up mm -hmm. this country. That's it for now.